What happened when one of Hollywood's funniest actors starred in a terrifying true story? And why is the Amityville Horror so scary anyway? Keep watching to find out. Ryan Reynolds is a man of many talents, and the Deadpool star is known for his charisma, good looks, and dynamite comedic timing. Reynolds made his acting debut in the teen drama series 15 in 1991, but he really broke into the mainstream in 2002 as the titular star in National Lampoon's Van Wilder. The effortlessly likable Reynolds drew in audiences immediately. Women wanted him, men wanted to be him, and the world quickly fell in love with his sarcastic charm. It was for this reason that he was almost denied the role that's often considered to be one of his strongest performances to date. Post Van Wilder, Reynolds took on roles in films like the questionable comedy Buying the Cow and the underrated Blade Trinity. At this point, people seem to think they had Reynolds all figured out. If you need a handsome guy with perfect one-liner execution, the ability to pull off action, and a 1,000-watt smile, Reynolds is the man for the job. If you need a stepdad to move into a cursed house to become possessed by the evil within the walls to kill a family dog and threaten the lives of his family, he's probably not going to be the first actor who comes to mind. And yet, in 2005's remake of The Amityville Horror, he was the perfect choice. The iconic horror franchise was, in fact, inspired by a true story. On November 13, 1974, Ronald DeFeo Jr. shot and killed six members of his family in Amityville, New York, and was later convicted of second-degree murder. This story is undeniably and tragically true, but the events that followed have been heavily debated ever since. A year after the familia side, George and Kathy Lutz, along with their three children, moved into the DeFeo home. However, they left after just 28 days claiming that the house was haunted. Paranormal investigators Ed and Lorraine Warren, who inspired the main characters in The Conjuring, were notable as two of the first people to investigate the hauntings. Jay Anson's 1977 novel, The Amityville Horror, would soon become a phenomenon. Anson's book was later adapted into a film of the same name in 1979, with James Brolin and Margot Kidder starring as the Lutz couple. Considering the fact that Amityville is a real location, and the events of both the DeFeo and Lutz families have been documented as real, this has pushed all things Amityville into something of a copyright vortex. There are no real restrictions on using the Amityville name or the claims of hauntings, which has led to 35 different sequels, spin-offs, remakes, and inspired films with little to no continuity. The 2005 remake was only the third Amityville film to earn a theatrical release, which meant the filmmakers had their work cut out for them to earn back public favor. Filling the shoes of Kidder and Brolin was bound to be a difficult task, but the roles eventually went to Melissa George and Ryan Reynolds. The Amityville horror director Andrew Douglas was skeptical of casting Reynolds as the infamous George Lutz, fearing that the actor was too funny and too attractive to pull it off. In an interview with Dread Central, Douglas said everything changed once Reynolds was cast, explaining, His performance was chilling. What I was scared of was his handsomeness and his size. You know, he's a beautiful looking man. But he just sold it so strongly that the very things I was scared of, he just managed to, like Jack Nicholson in The Shining, make that even more creepy. According to Douglas, Reynolds used his physical prowess and good looks to allow the character to appear far more sinister than someone who already looks mean. In many ways, Reynolds' performance in the Amityville Horror could be compared to Christian Bale's unforgettable turn in American Psycho. As Douglas revealed, it was producer Michael Bay who first had the instinct to cast Reynolds in the famous horror movie adaptation. Years later, Reynolds' performance continues to be seen as one of the strongest aspects of Apache Remake, and makes a strong case for allowing the Hollywood star the chance to play against type more often. Check out one of our newest videos right here, plus even more Slash Film videos about your favorite TV shows and movies are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.